that show. A lot's happening in our country currently in response to the brutal murder of George Floyd by the Minneapolis Police Department in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's been protests, looting, riots. It's been a long two weeks. I wanted to comment on it, so I'll just tell you a story that happened to me in the police department and security a long time ago. It was in the spring, and I went. To, I was go, going to Mary Washington College, uh, which is now the University of Mary Washington, and they had a uh, a music festival in front of one of the uh, dorms, and there was a ton of people there. It was me and uh, my friend Nathan. We decided we're we'll gonna check it out. Okay, so we're at the festival, listening to music, having a good time, enjoying the nice weather, and two. Mary Washington College security officers approached me. They told me that I fit the description of someone they were looking for. The person of interest apparently was a peeping Tom and was peeping on the ladies in one of the female, all female dorms. And apparently I fit the description of this individual. So they get my name and ask me, you know, why am I here? And I'm like, well, I'm here for the music festival. And they asked to take my photograph to show one of the victims. Say, hey, is this the guy? And at the time, it just didn't sit well with me and wasn't a hundred percent sure of my rights. I was significantly, well, I was a young kid. And so, well, early twenties. That's that's young. So, uh, but I complied. I said, well, I'll just go along with this. So they took my picture, right? But I was straight cheesing. The cop was like, smile. And I gave him all this here, all this cheese. And they left. And I went on my day. So, okay, so now we took a break from the uh, festival. Let's walk around campus. Nice spring day. And I noticed everywhere we went, there was a... Mary Washington security officer just happened to be in the neighborhood, just happened to be around, if you will. And I said to Nathan, I think of being followed. I ain't necessarily the sharpest tool in the shed, but I am quite observant enough. I think I'm being followed. And so we went on our day. And once again, I just have to notice wherever we went on campus, Here's a security officer just nearby. Okay, let's get off campus, obviously. So, <laughs> oddly enough, we went to a local, uh, I don't even say it's a dive bar, but it was a dive bar. And oddly enough, that same day, that was the first time I rode Mechanical Bull, Hector the Ejector, he had to sign a waiver. It's like, sure, I'll ride this bad boy. Spoiler alert, did not go well. I got launched off this mo and so on and so forth. I say all that to say. So we're walking back from the bar to campus. This is only like a mile or so. Get back on the campus and it's like seven, eight o'clock in the evening. Go to uh, get something to eat. As if out of nowhere, here's one of the uh, Murray Washington security officers. Just happened to, you know, nearby. Oh, well, this is no good. So I'm like, Nathan, I'll see you later. And I bounced. Now, where I was living, the apartment I was living in was literally across the street from campus. So I take one of the back ways behind one of the dorms across uh, the street. This is in uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia, I'm sorry. I said it at the beginning. And so uh, Route 1, one of the main, um, one of the main highways goes through Fredericksburg. So I cross Route 1, I'm in the median, and here comes a uh, Fredericksburg police car, just cruising by. Like, okay, 
the car goes down to uh, the uh, the light, makes a U-turn. I freaked out. I don't want you to do in this situation, but I freaked out. And I took off running. I mean, I hauled it. Ran to uh, where my apartment was, ran upstairs, shut the door. My friends, uh, my roommates, Jim and Dave, they're like, Lane, what's going on? I'm like, turn off the lights. They're chasing me. And they're like, what's going on? I'm like, just look out the balcony. Okay. So he turned off the, Jim turned off the lights, and him and Dave just walked out on the balcony. And the same Fredsburg police car was cruising through the parking lot with the big uh, spotlight on, just spotlighting both sides, just cruising through the apartment apartment complex and I like army crawled through the kitchen to a window I was looking at myself and then the uh, cop turned turned around and cruised back through real slow like the spotlight looking around we wait a little while and see the see the cop pull off the a lot of the complex went on his way. So I am freaking out, hands shaking. Jim and Dave are freaking out. They're like, Lane, what's going on? I tell them what happened. Duh, 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 duh. They think I'm a peeping Tom. Duh, 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 duh. They took my photograph. They followed me all day on campus. I'm off campus. Well, I have you ejected. Duh, 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 duh. They still follow me down. The police are following me. I've done a lot of things in my life I'm not necessarily proud of, but I have never peeped on some, <clears throat> never peeped on somebody. That is ridiculous. But I, I fit the description. So Jim and Dave were quite upset. I am quite upset. I was 22. No, I was 21. 21 when, I, when all this happened. So I, was, um, I knew a lot of people still on campus, but I laid low. Like, you know what, the best thing for me to do is to, to stay in the apartment a few days. I had a few days off work, just don't go on campus until all this kind of dies down a little bit, which it did. And then midweek, the following week, they caught the peeper and his life moved on. Didn't move on from me because I'm still I'm angry, frustrated. I call my mom. My mom calls everybody in the family. The family's upset. My mom's upset. I'm upset. What do you do? So on Facebook quite a bit the past two weeks, hearing things but all sides. However you feel about the racial climate in America, whichever side you're on, me personally, I can I go with what's happened to me personally, my family, my ancestors, my great grandmother who raised me, my grandparents, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I have a hope that things will be better, that after the protests and the rallies and the outcry, it's making a dent, and it has. I'm reading the news today, and it has made it, starting to make a dent. It's starting to be an avalanche of justice. I just hope it continues that not only myself, but my kids and their kids and their kids won't have to experience something similar that I went through. Unfortunately, I have more stories involving University of Mary Washington Security, Fredericksburg Police Department. But I'll say those for another day. My grandfather, he was a bishop for many, many years.
days. And this is how you would end every sermon, the same way I'm ending today's show. May peace be unto thee. May peace be multiplied.